We'll do this for the recording. <clears throat> Hey everybody, Master Joe here. Uh, about to watch some of this reaction, the final video presentation of freaking Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Uh, I did, as most of you know, a reaction video for the first one, the 50 Facts of Travaganza, and the last one is starting! Holy crap, okay, cool. Real quick, if you want to enter this tournament, read that stuff up there. I'm gonna be watching this over here. Oh my sweet baby Jesus, Lord. Alright, I do have... <laughs> I do have these. Right now? This way. All right, more Final Fantasy stuff. Final hey, Fantasy. Brother? My bad. I'm. That's how far I'm on cloud I am right now. He's my brother. More Fire Emblem stuff. We're your family. Homeboy's trying to figure out if he should go with the plot or the plot. The answer is the plot, by the way, in case I'm you didn't know. So sorry, everyone. I feel like I have no choice but to. What? Join Smash! What are you doing? Yeah, Corin! Sorry, big brother. I've made my decision. What? How could you? You're giving up on us and battling completely on the Okay, opponent. I know a lot of people are gonna be very excited about He's this, tough. but dude! Not a problem for five Another fire emblem kit? Another sword? Yeah. And before Crom, Crom, so Crom can't get in the game. But this dude doesn't even have shoes. Okay, the chain sword, sword is, well, ch the chain sword, it's good. But my homie is literally barefoot out here, and he gets into Smash. His game's not even out in the states yet. His game's not even out yet, and he's in Smash. Are those warriors of the out realms? One, two, three, four, five, six. My god, they should have just named this Smash Crossfire Emblem, all these characters out here right now. My thing is, I don't know who this person is. Like, I don't know who this is. This is some random Fire Emblem character from the new game. Okay, who's also got the, you know, alright, female and, and male version like Robin does. But, I don't know, man. I got an issue with putting characters... In a game like Smash, that don't like their game's not even out yet. My path is to take on the legendary so that's a little bit weird. Of like of all the like, uh, it's, it's hard for me to stomach that one. Plus the fact that it's another sword user. Like my God, and Cloud is a sword. There's so many sword users in this game. So many. But all right, Fire Emblem is hot. I know it's the thing, especially in Japan. I'm Masahiro Sakurai. He's the man himself. Let's see what he's got. Limited the director of Super Smash Brothers. Thank you for waiting. This will be the last video presentation of Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. I hope you'll enjoy this finale. I'm sure I will, man. It's been, it's been a crazy ride. The main character from Fire Emblem Fates, Corrin, will be joining the fight. As we developed new fighters, we thought to include someone from this upcoming game. Around the upcoming title That's how we decided to begin production on Corrin. What? But why? It's been a while what? since the new Fire Emblem title launched in Japan, but we're now just a couple months away from launching it in the rest of the world. So you'll get a chance to become familiar with Corrin before you play the game. This is like a as product tie, Fit, Trainer, almost, and Robin, which is like... You can choose to play as a male or female version of Corrin. I don't know how Both I feel about that. Both perform exactly the same, so it's all up to personal preference. I don't know you how I feel about that. You may the sword in Corrin's hand. It's the final form of the weapon Yato, called Omega Yato. However, that is not his primary way of fighting. Corrin has if the we, blood if we had to get another sword user, I would have loved freaking Lloyd from Tales of Symphonia. You know, like, somebody's got some, attacks some prowess. No other fighter somebody's can. got some history to him. He's capable of changing entirely into a dragon, but some of his moves transform only some parts of his body. His side smash attack has tremendous reach. I was reach. gonna say that move looked the like it had a lot of range is especially to it. powerful, so consider how far you are from your opponent when you use it. When using back air attacks, Corrin briefly sprouts wings. That looks like it has a lot of range he too, but I mean it has some startup appear, lag into it, so it's all just about timing extra it, I guess. You need when recovering. After activating a dragon attack, his head changes in appearance. 
Corin's standard special. I don't know. It's just hard to say anything about this because I don't know who the heck this is. The Dragon Fang shot. If you like, it's hard it, to care about it because I literally for a bit. have no idea who this After person is. Their, their the game's not even out in the States yet. Can also bite so I have opponent. no... I don't know. I'm this completely indifferent also be charged about this character. This is so weird. This combo deals a lot of damage and can really launch This is so a weird. Like, getting Corn's into Smash has always been like, jump, oh my god, who could possibly make it? You know, and we've had all these arguments about the Smash ballot. But this like, is who's going to get in there? A simple thrust. No, this person shouldn't be in because their game's too new. In the you know, oh, they should have a legacy, you whatever, whatever. Where you are. But, you um... Even pin your foe in place with oh, this poor movement. Wario. <laughs> you know, they, sk they skewered my man. In After his man. Them, oh my god! A front kick, this is... Back kick, so jump, graphic! Or cancel. Pin your opponent, then decide what to do based on the situation. As a player, I mean, he does look pretty interesting. The up special puts Corrin's wings. It's different, to work. that's for sure. Dragon Ascent. At full wingspan, Corrin has a wide attack range. You can control the angle for a wider attack too. Use it wisely. Corrin's down special attack is Counter Surge. It's a counter move familiar to fans of the Fire Emblem this is fighters. Very interesting. One big difference is a visual one. The dragon I wanna, I don't know, I forget how many characters there are. And you can see that the opponent Who's watching the video uh, after you. the fact on Other YouTube? Other differences include This was a live stream opponents upward and attack left on uh, my and Twitch right channel twitch.tv slash smash it one one final smash is torrential roar. So you, you may see me uh, several nearby opponents talking to some folks in the chat. <laughs> and finish them off all at once. My goodness. I do believe they will announce another character. Um I mean, this clearly is not the There's character. No this isn't even the ballot. This is just, hey, music, we're making Fire Emblem Fates, and it's about to come yes, out. If you Do some product Corrin placement for us and put version, Corrin in Smash, Sakurai. Music tracks for free. The first one is the Fire Emblem Fates theme song, Lost in Thoughts All Alone. It includes vocals. The other is a remix I'll give it points. The, the character does look cool. The like, I like the sword. Earlier. Try not to hate on this so bad. I like the sword. The um, stages, it looks so different. It's not just odds of a sword like everybody music. else's is for the most part. In the Nintendo 3DS version, as a special bonus, we added trophies of Ryoma and Xander. I guess from these Fire are other Emblem characters. Fates. Yeah, from Fates. They are the eldest brothers from the Hoshido and Nor kingdoms, respectively. Okay. Corin's new challenger illustration was created Whoa, by Yusuke that's Kozaki, the SS, though. who is taking care of character designs for Fire Emblem Fates. This is his second challenger illustration. His first was for Robin. Please check it out on the I mean, official that's website. the SS, though. <laughs> that's all that matters on that poster. We're targeting a February 2016 release for Corin. Hmm. Okay. Pretty late. We will announce the exact date later on the official website. Um, for me personally, I I don't know. I might get him, but yeah, I don't know. All right, here we go. Here's something we expected. Clap. From the Final Fantasy series, Cloud Strife will soon join the battle. Adding this character seemed a man's last name is really Strife. I did not know that. We have a lot of requests for Final Fantasy characters okay. to join Smash Bros. <laughs> like it was going to be anything them, else. Cloud that has victory been requested theme. the most. Cloud will be available to download as a Super Smash Bros. fighter soon. I have some information soon. to share about him as well. Okay. I didn't say today. He said as soon. As usual, Cloud deftly handles a so we might not be getting Cloud today? as his body, but we've weaved in some unique moves and elements too. His side smash will unleash a high-speed three-hit chain attack. Watch his sword move at lightning speed. Okay. Was that the actually a kill move, or were they just at high percent already? Inspired hey. by the original game. And the two types of costumes include the original from Final Fantasy VII and one from Final Fantasy VII. I'd definitely VII be rocking that Advent Children, man. That costume is the so Advent fire. The Advent Children costume it's, it's has good. a version with the sleeve covering the Geo Stigma on his left arm and a version without. I go with the sleeve. detail. Yeah, they were really careful with this. That's the, I like this. This is nice. And I haven't played Final Fantasy VII, this but I did watch Advent Children, and that's like, man, that thing is so hype. Gauge will fill up as you receive Last fight with Sephiroth, my opponents. goodness. Man. It's similar to Little Mac's KO gauge, but it isn't normally visible. It isn't visible. However, you can charge up the limit gauge with oh, okay. down special attack while checking in on this meter. 
first sword user to have a charge like Samus. Out, That's interesting. His limit break will be activated. This will surround Cloud in a blue aura, slightly increasing his stats. And for one use only, each of his special attacks will be replaced with limit break versions. Huh. Cloud's standard special is Blade Beam. This is a wave bullet that moves along the ground and it has a wide attack range. You can use it in the air as well, oh, but snap. it's more powerful on the ground. That's interesting. That's like a really a interesting uh, zoning special attack type thing. Leads to a combo hit and a stronger launch. Especially since you can use it in the His air and it travels horizontally no matter slash. what. It's Cloud's specialized sword move. I can see that being a really useful space in zoning technique. You can complete the Japanese word Kyo. It has high attack I'm not power, on my girl though. Yeah, block him. Shield, it will create an opening for them to attack just before you finish That's the That's right. You can't get the No, no, not the boots. <laughs> in addition to the damage. Why did you leave your shield down? version has more launch power. The up special is climb hazard. Strike the opponent, ascend, then press the button again to fall and strike at high speed. Alright, so he's basically got that me sure fighter. Not to press the button a <laughs> he's basically got that me fighter up here. version climbs much higher. The extra height is especially useful when recovering rather than attacking. Wow. Sometimes you'll want to save the limit break for later, but get launched before you can actually Dang, use it. Yeah. Often you end up having Very no useful. choice but to use limit break to recover. The down special is Limit Charge. Hmm. With this move, you can manually charge the limit gauge. However, when the limit gauge is fully charged, the down special becomes a completely different move called Finishing Touch. I wonder how long it takes to charge that gauge, though. This move only causes 1% damage, but its launch power is extremely strong. What? Huh. Fighters who've accumulated a certain amount of damage better watch out. Dang. And of course, that his final smash hitbox area is, is huge too. Perform a special combo attack. Oh, yeah, on we all know about that Omni Slash. Crush them completely with this move. Cloud had to have this move. Am I right? Of course you're right. Of course you're right, Sakurai. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that stage that new stage, is not tournament legal in the slightest. It's a location we were all hoping though. Early on in Final <laughs> Fantasy VII. We were all hoping, and Both then the Mako Reactor and the Shinra Building. Can Still be though, it does here. look really cool. It definitely has that cyberpunk feel. Here, summon materia will appear, and the fighter who acquires it will be able to use summons. Most of these summoned monsters will do something that changes the terrain rather than directly attacking players. Ifrit. Ifrit creates an inferno. Okay, now this is the part I'm going to be completely itself. lost because I don't know what when any of these the summons fire, are. You will be damaged. Again, haven't played Final Fantasy VII. Plan to play the the, uh, to the remaster advantage. remake thing. Uh, maybe I know they have that weird Ramu. stuff going on with the whole like episodic releases, which is Ramu bull crap. But floating terrain by attacking. I might get my chance. We'll see. You can then I'll learn. The only one I know is Bahamut. Electricity, but you'll take damage. <laughs> That's probably not even how you say it, but I hope he shows up. I think he did in the little announcement trailer. him will remain unharmed. Odin. Odin can cut the stage in. I mean, this stage is essentially. Slice. You can avoid this like attack, um. Jeez, what was that Pokemon stage in Brawl? Instantly KO'd. That had the diamond and pearl legendaries on it. Split in the stage. It's like that stage, which is perform a meteor smash. Insane, insane, man. Make sure. Oh my gosh! In the middle when the stage comes back together. Villager, no! <laughs> That boy died! Floods the stage! The stage. With water, wow, the stage really right killed him. Left. I know we joke the about the stage killing people sometimes, but the stage actually murdered that man. Is that if you're swept away by water, the fighter who summoned Leviathan will get points. Bahamut Zero. Yeah, Bahamut. From high above, Bahamut Zero fires a devastating attack. It's an area of effect attack, and the flare will continue for a while. So the fighter who summoned him should oh, try to so cool. into the blast. Whoever blast zone is really small for like it being that far away. I thought it was gonna be a huge blast zone. To doom by summons. But that try is super to get cool. As much summon materia as you can. I like that they use the background on this, and then we the background moves into the, the foreground. That's that's for the that's Nintendo really cool. 3DS I like that. version as well. Of course, you can summon in that version too. Cloud's oh, new challenger artwork was created by Who would win? Nomura himself. I'm just saying. I really appreciate my boy that Link Mr. is Nomura, strong. Who did the original design 
also created the illustrations this time. Master Sword versus Buster Sword. It's really rare to see Buster Nintendo Blade. characters in this style, and it's groundbreaking. Look at Mario down there like the Cloud ultimate co-signing goon. <laughs> Cloud will become available for purchase oh! within hours of this presentation. We are getting the Once boy today. Once distribution has begun, you may experience some wait times due to high server demand. Please bear with us. The price for Cloud and the Midgar stage is shown here. Don't mind me. I hope you'll enjoy playing as Cloud. Head over to the east miraculously e join the fight <laughs> in Final Fantasy. Okay, now on to news that we may not know that we would hopefully expect. Cloud, we will release a Chocobo hat for Mii Fighters. Okay. You can use it to dress up your Mii Fighter. Fair enough. And thanks to our relationship with Square Enix, we will release another Mii Fighter costume. It's gonna be Gino! Oh my god, it is Gino! I was completely joking! I was joking! I was joking! I was joking! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Gino shoots. Oh my god, though! It's Gino! Oh, it's Gino! Since this is our last presentation, here are the final Mii Fighter costumes. I don't care with Gino! Gino, boys! Oh my god, Gino! It's been so long, man! Oh, that me. What are they doing? What are they doing? They're doing something! Are we about to catch. Are we about to catch. Y'all, they. Like, Nintendo has avoided Super Mario RPG for years. They don't say anything about it. No references. No nothing. That's cool, too. Um, but my goodness, what are they doing? What are they doing? Are they doing something? Are we about to see Super Mario RPG 2? Because that would be hot. At least a remake, HD remake, something. Man, maybe. Ashley is going to be pretty cool for a lot of folks. I'm still geeking out about Gino, man. I will buy Gino. I will buy Gino. I'll buy Gino just because I'm so hyped. Hey. Okay. Oh, snap, it's Knuckles. And Knuckles, of course. Gotta put Knuckles in there. Gino, though! Unbelievable. I'm so happy. I cannot believe they put my boy Gino in there. I'm just glad he's not being ignored. We all know freaking Forest Maze is the hottest song in Super Mario RPG. We've all played the 10 hour version of that on YouTube. Don't lie. I got that in my favorites right now. <laughs> By the way, Lloyd we showed uh, in the past sometimes look like they have similar faces to the original characters in the intro videos and screenshots. On the official website, we have QR code patterns for some of these characters. If you download oh, so you the can make a me that's based on these, okay, you cool. can quickly create pretty cool. solid look-alike fighters. So please use them if you're interested. Trying to bring up that smash real quick. Yo, eShop is looking good. It's They've been almost one some year some since we started creating additional downloadable fighters. All right, here we go. However, this is finally the climax. The climax! Here's our last fighter announcement trailer. Please take a look at the Wait. final new challenger in Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U. It's not going to be Wolf. I'm sad, boys. It's going to be Shovel Knight. I'm gonna do a kid. Don't get careless, Pit. A challenger approaches. Huh? Oh, another angel. Must have missed one. Bayo freaking Netta. That is good. Wow. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. But that is such a good move. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be mad. Cheeky. Can't be can't even be mad. I mean maybe <laughs> because she also has boots. I'm just saying. I feel like I'm gonna have to learn her as well as Zero Suit. I like it when you play hard to get. 
Them, 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 them boots, though. Her wicked weaves attack summon the limbs of demons. <laughs> Pulling out, oh my god. <laughs> Pulling out demon boots. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 It's witch time. Witches can control time itself. Oh my gosh. What? Whoa, no. <laughs> no. Why did she slow time and then push that man into the edge? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Why the combos? This girl got combos. Dang. This must be her stage. Don't tell me you're done already. That ain't tournament legal. She's so tough. Don't be oh, that such a woo. Oh my gosh, that's gotta be up smash, Time down smash, maybe. Part. Smashing! That's Gamora. She can also summon huge demons. Enough talk, goddess. They handle that transition faithfully. Don't mess with a witch. This is so funny, because so many people made a Bayonetta amiibo out of the Zero Suit amiibo. The Umbra Witch who hunts angels. And now she's in Bayonetta. the game. Now she's gonna she's get her own amiibo. joining the battle. We've been asking for your opinion on the Super Smash Bros. fighter ballot, and Bayonetta was the number one choice in Europe. In, in Europe? In North America, she was among the top five. This ranking includes even fighters from previous games in the series. Among the negotiable and realizable characters, Bayonetta was the overall number one choice worldwide. Among realizable characters. In Super Smash Brothers. I'm guessing Bayonetta Ridley wasn't on that with list. Many characteristics based on the original games. The more you learn I'm sad for Wolf, but I'm happy for Wolf. I'm happy for more boots. moves like the character in the original games. First of <laughs> all, she my boy is a combo fighter, and not just weak though. attacks. Even her you know strong side attacks, front air attacks, and so on can land multiple hits. Mid -air However, what? her combos are a bit slow to start. This is also similar to the original games. Each special move can strike multiple times, so you should be able to perform some very elegant aerial combo attacks, Bayonetta style. Oh my god! After an attack, press and hold the button to continue attacking with her guns. This is programmed into almost all of Bayonetta's moves, so you can fire even in the middle of combo attacks. That is However, cool. The shots themselves won't slow enemies down, so you have to watch out for. I wonder how much damage they do, though. I hope it. I hope it's worth it. Bayonetta is equipped with four guns, one on each of her hands and feet, so she can shoot. You know how strong you have to be to have kicking. guns like that. It's on those are freaking revolvers on your feet. to opponents at a distance, or steal points by hitting a fighter who's about to be knocked off the stage. Dirty. The thief. guns from Bayonetta 2 are called Love is Blue. Girl is a the thief. The guns from the original Bayonetta are called Scarborough Fair. All four guns in each set have different names. Dang. Here's her wicked weaves. For this <laughs> attack, weave. she uses her hair as a conduit to summon the limbs of to me the I'm black. demon. So Madama wicked Butterfly. weaves to me makes me think about something it's else. It's her smash attack and it's huge <laughs> by any measure. Wicked weaves though. Some weaves do be wicked. Used at the edge of a stage, Some weaves do be wicked. Oh my god, it is the down smash. Woo, lord. This is Bayonetta's signature move, Witch Time. It reacts to the opponent's move in a flash and slows down time. God. This is her down special attack, and it's activated yeah, like so a counter-attack. Yeah, so it's like a, that is the your opponent sickest is slowly, counter. Because you're in it for so long and she can do whatever she wants game slow down every time she uses and it's instant time. so instead it only slows down the opponent you're countering the length of slowdown time is determined by several factors the okay higher, the higher percent you're there for damage, super slow. the longer the effect but if you use it repeatedly its effect will be shorter ah i wonder if that's just like of all time the when which time is triggered late Bat Within will be activated instead, reducing damage dealt by your opponent. What? Bat Within protects Bayonetta even when her dodge move is about to fail. What? 
Many of huh. her signature visual effects appear as well. She got adding two a bit types of flashiness counter. That's to so brawls. crazy. When she lands, butterflies appear. When she's damaged, roses fall. And aerial jumps show off her butterfly wings. Yo. <laughs> During jumps and gunshots, unique magic circle effects turn up too. And in the Wii U version, Bayonetta's shadow is in the shape of Madama Butterfly. Okay. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Also, there's an extremely long taunt. You can cancel it in the middle too, so you can dance if you want to. <laughs> Bayonetta has. Oh, we're gonna be styling costumes. on them. There's the blue costume from Bayonetta 2, featuring her shorter hair. I do like the short the hair. A witch with no memories costume from the original Bayonetta. I like the, I like the short hair look. There's over also that a one. color variation inspired by Jean. Woo. Okay. Bayonetta's standard special is Bullet Climax. Oh, he, he did say the climax. He's, he he, the he guns hinted. always shoot slightly upward, but you can fire continuously. What? Also, if you press and hold the button, this attack will... Oh my gosh! He shot that man down! Ground, her I mean, no one would ever recover there, but still, that's, that's mad cool. By holding the button, you can add a kick at the end. This way, you can make a combo as well. Ooh, yes. However, yes. if you use it in the air, her side special is Afterburner Kick instead. Doesn't that look like Zero this Suit Pose? This is the first time ever that the name of the move changes depending on where you use it. If you make your opponent out in the air with Afterburner Kick, you can then strike with another one. Also, if you use the Afterburner Kick after pressing down, then you can angle it diagonally down. You can do it twice? Let's just say, if you often use Ryu's traditional Hadoken command, it should be easy to do. This can also be used as a starting point of a combo. Her up Dang. special is called Witch Twist. This special attack takes you skyward, but you can move immediately after you've activated it. What? And you, you can, can move? Once again, mid jump. Oh my gosh, you can do it twice? If you <laughs> what the keep heck? The button, you can shoot too. Try holding the button to rack up more damage. This is ridiculous. When recovering, use Witch Twist, then jump and which twist again on top of that. You can even add in airborne huh. combos and an afterburner kick after using which twist too. However, the more moves you add, the larger the opening you'll leave when you finally land. Yeah, so but goodness careful. gracious, that looks so freaking cool. Fierce combos like this are more than possible. If you're on the receiving end, try to fend them off. Oh my goodness! How much damage would that combo do? Climax. <laughs> so many the hits! This move activates is also God, that looks unique. so freaking cool. First, which time goes into effect and the entire I want all y'all to know I said I was going to play with her before they start. Oh, look at that. Look at that. My girl's working together. Both my boots. It's time to damage boots collide. To fill up the gauge. <laughs> when the climax gauge is full. When boots collide. Demon, Gamora, oh, wait. No, they're not working together. My bad. Any opponents you attack definitely just punched her in the face. The gauge. Once Gamora has finished chewing, if the opponent's accumulated damage is over 100%, they'll be finished immediately. So it works like a danger zone. You that can also throw cool, in multiple man. opponents at once, so please try it out. Master Wife getting in. Or watching this, uh, watching this direct. This is looking mad cool right now. There's also a Bayonetta hey, stage, hey. Umbra Clock Tower. We've recreated this extremely memorable and iconic opening scene from the original Bayonetta, the Falling mm. Clock Tower. Basically, it's a flat platform, but moving platforms run right next to it. <laughs> Basically, to it's a Falling up. Clock Tower. If you want to win, <clears throat> utilize the terrain well. Oh, In the middle of the like, match, once you enter the alternate world That's kind of interesting. The stage itself is kind of turned. Avengers. And once you pass it, you won't see them like, anymore. Like, I can see the grab point on the left side, Angels but like the one on the right side. and Fortitudo have guest that appearances as well. For the Wii U version, we picked some That's memorable songs though. They, like, from both shift the, the plane original a bit. and Bayonetta 2. There are also songs arranged specifically for Super Smash Bros. We hope you enjoy them. In addition to Bayonetta, we created Jean, Rodan, and Cereza trophies as well. If you purchase and download Bayonetta in Super Smash Bros., you'll get them all. Bayonetta's new challenger illustration was created by Bayonetta development yeah, these team illustrations member, are so Funahashi. freaking cool. It's an impressive Peach with the pen. <laughs> fighting game and watch. Light and dark. I see you. So take some time to soak in all the details on the official website. That is really cool. 
Got Gidorf over there. Bayonetta's inclusion is another dream come true type of situation. We'll need a little more time, so please be patient until she is released. Yeah, I f <laughs> yeah, that dance. Just is like Corin, we're targeting a February 2016 release for Bayonetta and the Umbra Clock Tower stage. Okay. Once it's finalized, we will announce. That's interesting because I know a lot of people were saying website. that uh, Bayonetta 2 from Platinum. And now we have some. I don't, I don't know if it sold Amiibo. super well or not. Amiibo of but Ryu, pretty daggone sweet. Roy and Will oh, okay, here we go. With his Famicom colors will be released on March 18th, 2016. Famicom Roy Please coming out. Alright, we just have to wait a little bit. Pre-order information. Ryu is looking that good. Roy's and looking pretty good too. we can also confirm Amiibo production for the three fighters that we covered today. So it'll be those poses Cloud, there. Corey, okay. And Bayonetta. Each of them Bayonetta will have stands Amiibo so wide, figures. Though. Their release dates are still to be determined. Please wait for further information. Not bad. Not bad at all. Each of the newly announced fighters, Corin, Cloud, so we just got and three new fighters. Well, we got two new fighters. We already knew about Cloud. One of them, Corin, I don't care about well. at all. So Bayonetta, though. Enjoy playing as I'm gonna do that deck on stomp on somebody. Oh my gosh, that stomp! It's been over a year since we finished development of the original game. We've continued to develop new fighters and stages, and it's created a huge volume of content. The total number of fighters is 58. Counting the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U versions wow. together, the total number of stages is 84. And counting the male and female versions together, the total number of Mii Fighter costumes is 99. There are 97 hats. The total number of trophies is 743 for Wii U Holy crap. and 707 for Nintendo 3DS. I mean, when you lay the out the numbers number like that, tracks, such as stage music, you get a sense of how just enormous this Victor game hat is. The like aside, 58 I believe these characters? are record high numbers for a competitive action game. Yeah. <laughs> 58 In terms players, of sales, wow. It's certainly best to create downloadable content while developing the original game, then release them close to the game's launch. But for this specific title, we created downloadable content from scratch after finishing the original game's development. Each piece of content requires intense work. Without your support, we couldn't have made it. Tell them like Thank it is, Sakurai. So much. I'm a little sad now. In Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS and Wii U, a variety of fighters have appeared, making possible certain matchups we never would have imagined. <laughs> Yeah. We hope all of these characters will continue to make great appearances in many titles to come. I greatly appreciate the developers of each game featured and the fans. Titles to come? What does that mean, Sakurai? With that, I thank you. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. That's what's up, man. Wow. All right. Is there anything at the end? You like the stick at the bottom. What is that? Or Wario? Oh, that's his final smash. I forgot. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> they pulled that video! <laughs> I saw somebody put that up when freaking uh, Peach gets too close to Zelda's man. <laughs> Whoa, what? Trickery? Oh, it's out of there. Woo! That duck, though. <laughs> Man. With that original Smash Bros. remixed music in the background, that's pretty cool, man. Thank you. Thank you for making them. That's that's awesome. That is really cool. I'm I'm glad I I'm glad I watched and recorded this because. Yeah. Jeez, it's, it's almost kind of like Sakurai is wrapping it up and preparing to, you know, leave the series to other folks. He did say, you know, I hope these characters make it into many more series, uh, many more titles. So I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of Super Smash Bros. But daggone it, this is 58 characters deep enough for right now. I mean, we got, holy crap. Just recap real quick. We got Corin who no one knows or cares about right now, except for in Japan, but they will pretty soon, I guess, <laughs> Fire Emblem. Uh, we got all the stuff we got for Cloud, a little bit more info on his moves, and we got freaking Bayonetta. I, I honestly thought it was going to be Shovel Knight, because I saw a leak, somebody had said, oh, you know, there's a Shovel Knight um, image sticker posted up at Target or whatever, which, you know, you got to take those things with a grain of salt anyway. But, um, 
I thought I heard yacht clubs on Twitter actually saying something about that. So that's, that's, it's absolutely mind blowing that it was Bayonetta and like her character is such a good fit for this game. I feel like, like it's a better fit than Shovel Knight is. I'm sad about Wolf still, free Wolf. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, we get a completely new character. I'm a little still like salty. There's just so many Fire Emblem characters. Like the only series that gets a pass for me is the Mario series. Like they get a pass because it's Nintendo. And I mean, Nintendo, their bread and butter is Mario and Mario games. So yeah, they get all their characters because it's freaking Mario. Fire Emblem, I mean, now you got six Fire Emblem characters, which is kind of like, wow, or five, excuse me. Which is kind of like, whoa, geez, that's a lot for one series that's not Mario. But, you know, meh, it's all good. We're in there. I mean, I guess Zelda also has five. Link, Toon Link, Zelda, Sheik, Ganondorf. So there's that too. But I, I could have done without Corman. I think we got enough Fire Emblem characters. I would have liked Krom instead of Ike, to be honest. But, nah, eh, it's all good. I know Fire Emblem is just, it's huge in Japan. So that's kind of a business move, I think. But as far as the rest of it, uh, Bayonetta, my goodness. <laughs> Between Bayonetta and Zero Suit, I'm good. I'm, I'm solid. I'm golden. And freaking Gino! Gino! That's like the best part of the whole thing. Gino is officially back, ladies and gentlemen. Gino! Oh my gosh. Because of our partnership with Square Enix, Gino. I mean, yeah, he's a me, but my goodness. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I don't, I don't even buy me's. I don't even play me's, but I'm gonna get Gino, though. I'm gonna get Gino, and I'm gonna learn that daggone uh, Wee Gunner. Even his arm, like the gunner arm, is the, the Geno arm. That makes me want to play Super Mario RPG right now. My goodness, I've already played it for this year, though. <laughs> I gotta play that thing like once a year. That is freaking hype. That is so hype. Wow. Man, oh man, oh man. Well, cool. Listen, uh, those of you that are tuning in on YouTube, if you want to watch the stream, you can watch it at twitch.tv slash masterjoe116. As you can see, we've got a little tournament thing going on here this Saturday, the 19th. The homie based B and I are putting on a free to enter tournament, online tournament for Smash for Wii U. Cloud, since he is available today, will be legal in this tournament. So if you want to play the man and show us what you got, uh, you can definitely do so. The link is right there. You should go to Challenge. Actually, the link is not right here. So I'll put the link right here in an annotation. It'll be challenge.com slash MJGS underscore Smash 1. Uh, sign up for the tournament. We have cash prizes for the top three uh, participants. So first, second, and third. And there's already a good amount of people signed up now. So definitely get in there while you can, man. There's a limit to 24. So we're about over halfway there right now. So get in there. Join the tournament. I uh, hope to see you there this Saturday starting at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and until next time, guys. Whew. Holy crap. Dim boots. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can I get a... Just for the boots. Can we get... Yes. Yes. And can we also just... Just for the boots, please. Can we just get a... um. I'm so happy. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'll catch y'all around.